Thank you very much. The clerk, please call the roll. There are nine present. Alderperson Trester is excused. Today we have a guest with us, Sam Lindau. He's a Boy Scout from Troop 801 at Grace Episcopal Church. And Sam, would you please come forward and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Please stand. Sam's working on one of his merit badges tonight. Thank you much for attending. Next, we'll move on to the approval of the minutes from our last Common Council meeting. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to approve. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on those minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Next item is a confirmation of mayor's appointments. City attorney. We have one. Uh, the mayor hereby submits the following appointment for your consideration. Terry Jacob to be considered for appointment to the Sheboygan Squared Board of Directors to fill the unexpired term of Scott Grinke, whose term expires December 31, 2019. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to confirm appointment. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Next item is public forum. Do we have anyone here to speak? There is no one this evening. Thank you. Next, we'll move on to mayor's announcements. At this time, I'd like to ask Dr. Joseph Sheehan to please step to the front. Today we have a proclamation to present Dr. Sheehan. Proclamation, whereas Joseph Sheehan has served as co-superintendent or superintendent of the Sheboygan Area School District for 17 years, part of an education career that began more than 35 years ago. He will retire this June. He joined the Sheboygan Area School District as an associate principal of Urban Middle School in 1989. He served in a variety of roles since then, including principal of Madison Elementary School and director of personnel services. Whereas Joe holds a number of degrees, including a bachelor's of science and social studies, secondary education and psychology, a master's degree in educational administration from the University of Houston, and a PhD in educational leadership from Marquette University. Joe has continued his education through his graduate courses at the University of St. Thomas and Marquette University. And whereas Joe has been the face of the Sheboygan Area School District, he has been a tireless advocate for public education, especially in Sheboygan. Joe is dedicated to what's best for the students and the district, and that's what drives him as a person and his decision-making process. During his tenure as superintendent, Sheboygan has been a state leader in putting more dollars into classroom benefits to students and less dollars into administration. He's a positive, upbeat person who is also very accessible to the community. Whereas he is also affiliated with the Qantas Noon Club, the Lakeshore Technical College District Board of Directors, St. Nicholas Hospital Advisory Council, the New North Task Force, State Superintendent Charter School Advisory Committee, the Bay Area Workforce Development Committee, and State Academic and Career Planning Advisory Council, and the University of Wisconsin Oshkosh Education Advisory Panel. Uh, now, therefore, I, Mike Vandersteen, by virtue of the authority vested in me as mayor of the city of Sheboygan, to hereby pro proclaim June 8th of 2018, Dr. Joseph Sheehan Day. And in the city of Sheboygan, I extend to him our deepest appreciation for all of his dedicated work and wish him the best in his retirement. And this is supposed to be the day of his retirement party. Joe? Thank you. Um, <laughs> Mayor said don't be late. I guess I understand. I, wow. Um, I just want to thank you 
you know, I was supposed to be coming to Sheboygan for a year or two and go back to Michigan where I was from. Sheboygan grows on you very quickly. And been here 29 years now and very proud. I think, do I become a Sheboyganite now after this? If, if I'm actually one? You need another 25 years. <laughs> 25 years, okay. Yes. I gotta stop having so many brats. But um, I know a lot of you in the room and I'll be quite candid, it has to do with, it's easy to lead people that are committed. And that, that is the bottom line, Sheboygan. It was the difference between a want and a need. If you demonstrated you needed something, Sheboygan would support you. We were very careful not to ask for those wants. And it's just the daily piece of our staff and our families working together. Sheboygan's in good shape. And I just was a part of a much, much bigger picture of really committed people of what's right to do. So thank you very much for this. And again, I think I'm a Sheboyganite now. <laughs> You know, that's kind of been a joke on the school board that Joe doesn't feel like he's a Sheboyganite because he hasn't been here for 30 years or more. It's only been like about 29. So in order to kind of solve that problem, uh, tonight I'm also presenting Joe a key to the city. So. <laughs> Joe, you're now an official Sheboyganite, and I hope you stay for many, many years to come. All right, thank you. Next, I'd like to ask Mark Summer to come forward. On June 1st of 2018, Mark Summer retired after 34 and a quarter years as an electrical inspector with the City Department of City Development in the Building Inspection Division. The electrical contractors know Mark as being a very thorough and well rehearsed in all of his knowledge of the electrical code. Some believe that he has it completely memorized. Uh, but Mark's dedication to making sure that the city was safe when it came to electrical needs was superb. From getting emergency calls from Alliant Energy about residents trying to change an electrical service themselves, to holding contractors accountable for their actions, Mark always worked hard to make sure that the electrical projects that were, were properly completed. Mark is known to comment that he was doing electrical inspections before Sheboygan had electricity. <laughs> But congratulations to Mark on his 34 years of dedicated service to the residents and the businesses of Sheboygan. And Mark, I'm proud to present you the Certificate of Appreciation. City of Sheboygan is honored to present Mark Summer the Certificate of Appreciation and recognition of your 34 years of dedicated service from January 16th of 1984 through June 1st of 2018. Mark, congratulations and have a great retirement. Yeah, it's been interesting, a lot of ups and downs, but I'd really like to thank the mayor and the common council, and a special thanks to our department head, the development director, Chad Pelichek, to allow us to do our job unimpeded to provide safety to persons and property in the city of Sheboygan. And it was a pleasure during those 34 years and a great learning experience for myself. Thank you. We'll move on to the consent agenda. That'll include items 2.2 through 2.18. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to accept and file all, all ROs, accept and adopt all RCs, and pass all resolutions and ordinances. Is there a second? Second. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, the motion is before us. Is there any discussion on any of the items in the consent agenda? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Motion passes. Next is um, 
RO number 36 of 1819 by the Director of Planning and Development submitting a request accepting $30,000 in sponsorship contribution towards the 2018, 2019, and 2020 Cities Freedom Fest celebration from Wisconsin Bank and Trust. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I first would like to say thanks to Wisconsin Bank and Trust for their generous donation and ask for a, a motion to accept and file. Is there a second? Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Any discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk notice that we do a voice vote. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion <laughs> passes. The other items under reports of officers, items 3.2 through 3.16 will be referred to various committees. Under resolutions, item 4.1 will lie over. Items 4.2 through 4.6 will be referred to various committees. Under general ordinances, item 5.1 will be referred to the City Planning Commission. And then we'll go into other matters received after the agenda was published. Turn it over to City Attorney Charles Adams. 6.1 is an RO by the City Clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending December 31st, 2018, June 30th, 2019, and June 30th, 2020. That will be referred to the Licensing Hearings and Public Safety Committee. 6.2 is an RO by the City Clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30th, 2018, June 30th, 2019, and June 30th, 2020. That will again be referred to Licensing Hearings and Public Safety Committee. 6.3 is a resolution by Alderperson Rinfleisch and Boren authorizing a transfer of appropriations in the 2018 budget. That will be referred to the Finance and Personnel Committee. Next is a contemplated closed session. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to convene in closed session under Section 19.85, Sub 1, Sub E of the State Stats for the purpose of deliberating uh, po possible tentative agreement with the Sheboygan Fire Department. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Um, will the clerk please call the roll? Nine eyes. Motion passes. Um, for the public that's viewing, we'll be uh, adjourning in closed session, so this will end our TV transmission for the evening. We'll take a three-minute recess and reconvene.